So when Umar refuses to go and enter Mecca and be the, salamu alaikum, and be the messenger of the Prophet, and we gave our analysis of that, he says, but if you send Uthman, he has a powerful tribe. He can be a better messenger. So the Prophet calls on Uthman, and he asks him to deliver this message to Quraysh. He tells him, Uthman, go to Quraysh, tell them that we have not come to fight. We have come to offer pilgrimage only and call them to Islam, call them to the path of God. The Prophet ﷺ also commands Uthman to visit the believing men and the believing women in Mecca who were secretly being Muslims and to tell them that the victory is near and that soon Allah will make his religion prevail in Mecca and that they would no longer need to secretly practice their faith. He tells them visit the believers in, in Mecca and give them this message. Uthman enters Mecca as a messenger from the Prophet and he informs the Quraysh of the Prophet's message. Now it is reported that he met a man on his way to Mecca, his name was Aban ibn Sa'd. Aban told him, I'll take you into my protection. This is called Jawar in Arabia, where if someone comes and you say he's under my protection, basically no one dares, you know, inflict any harm on them. So he tells him, don't worry come and be safe in Mecca. Uthman visits all the nobles of Mecca from the Quraysh, one by one. And he delivered to them the message of the Prophet and they all said to him, Muhammad will not ever enter Mecca. That's impossible. So he tried to deliver the message of the Prophet, they refused. Then he visited the believing men and women and told them that soon they could freely practice their religion in Mecca. So he gave them the good news that Islam would soon prevail in Mecca. They became very happy and they asked him to convey their salam to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa You see how much the Prophet cares and how much empathy he had for his followers. He wanted to strengthen their hearts. The Prophet had also made a point uh, that Uthman visits the women too. He told them there are women who are believers, visit them. And this shows how much respect the Prophet ﷺ had for women in that jahili society, which didn't care about women and marginalized, marginalized women, but the Prophet really cared about them. So he goes and he visits them. It's also reported in historical works that when Uthman delivered the Prophet's message, he was told, Uthman was told by Quraysh, Muhammad can't enter, we're not going to allow him. But if you want to do the tawaf, do so. Historical reports indicate he refused. He said to them, no, I would not until the Prophet would. And he stays in Mecca for three days. Now why did Uthman refuse to do the tawaf? Maybe Muslims from other schools of thought have their own analysis, right? I honestly don't know. They claim, other Muslims from other schools of thought, they claim it was out of respect for the Prophet. You know, I'm not going to do tawaf and the Prophet is blocked outside of Mecca. However, one thing that makes me doubt this is that later as we shall see, when the Quraysh insisted on not allowing the Prophet to enter Mecca, and finally the Prophet at Hudaybiyah made a treaty with them, and he told his companions to get out of the ihram, Let's just end the pilgrimage here and go back and shave. Uthman objected. Uthman objected. He did not like that. So if you're willing to object to the Prophet and he gives you a command and initially you don't want to take that command. I don't really know what your intentions are here. When you refuse to do tawaf, what exactly was your intention? Was it pure respect for the Prophet? It's kind of difficult for me to believe that because if you had genuine respect for Rasulullah, show it at Hudaybiyah later as we shall see. But he didn't show it, he challenged the Prophet. Omar was the biggest challenger, we shall see. But even Uthman challenged. So I honestly don't know why he refused to do the tawaf. Was it for his reputation? Because the Muslims would have been angry. You go do tawaf and we're stuck outside here, it was not nice, it was not cool. I don't know, was it for a social reason, reputation, whatever it is, but if you tell me that it was genuine, sincere intention for the Prophet, I, I, I don't accept that.
because later his stance disproves this. <laughs> it can even be made up. But I'm saying even if we go by the story that's mentioned in history, um, we don't know what his intentions are. You can't say that he was doing that because of his respect for the Prophet. Because later he doesn't show that respect to the Prophet. So that's why I wanted to comment here. But yes, it's even possible that some of these are fabricated. We don't know what percentage of this is even true or not, right? So he stays in Mecca for three days. Now here something interesting happens. Reports, historical reports indicate that some Muslims said Uthman went to the Kaaba and did tawaf. There were some rumors. So again, the history says the Prophet said, no, I don't think he would do that while we're blocked. In any case, this has been mentioned. Then when Uthman, you know, returned later, he confirmed to them that, yes, I did not do the tawaf. The Quraysh invited me, but I refused to. <laughs>